Is that you? I think so. <laughs> These are my arms. These are my legs. I recognize all my parts. Well, what happened to your usual, hello, everybody? I say that. <laughs> OK. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I just came by to do my laundry. Well, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> I say that, don't I? I'll get it. Hello, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Maybe I should put on a revolving door. Rayvon calling. Good morning, Ines. Come right in. Thanks. Sofia, it's Ines Perez, the Rayvon lady. Did you get what I ordered? Oh, I'm sorry, it hasn't come in yet. <laughs> oh, hello, oh, Inez. Nice to see you. <laughs> Luis, did you order something? Why not? There's no reason why men shouldn't smell nice. Mr. Valdez ordered our latest cologne for the man's man. It's called Mucho Macho. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about time, Luis. I'm sick and tired of that old stuff you were wearing. Janet, you're in a drum. <laughs> <laughs> come and sit down, Inez, huh? Listen, I really didn't come on business. I, uh... I know, you came to see my nephew, Jerry. And we're so happy that the two of you are getting along so well. Oh, thank you, but I don't really think you could say that we were... Well, he's out in the back doing his laundry. I'll get him. Oh, no, please don't. I don't want to see him. You don't? No. Listen, I don't know whether you've noticed it or not, but Jerry's been acting very strange lately. Jerry strange? With him, how can you tell? Well, uh, for instance, today his landlady told me that for the past two nights, Jerry's been sleepwalking outside. Sleepwalking? Well, that's very dangerous. He could get hit by a car. Oh, no, he's been sleepwalking on the roof. That's even worse. He could be hit by a pigeon. <laughs> Ines, have you told Jerry about this? Oh, no. See, I think that I'm his problem. I think Jerry wants to break up with me. And I think that's what's causing all his anxieties. Well, why do you say that? Well, the other night he came to pick me up for a drive-in movie. He came to my door, he rang the doorbell, and he ran away. Oh, well, he probably just forgot something. He did. He forgot to come back. <laughs> Bye-bye, Mr. Valdez. Mr. Bye-bye, Inez. Bye, Inez. Jerry, come in here. Jerry, are you and Ines having some kind of problem? Of course not. Come and sit down, Jerry. Something has to be bothering you. We just found out that you've been sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? <laughs> like walking at night in my sleep? <laughs> I hope nobody saw me. Why? There is nothing to hide. Oh, but there is, if you do not wear any pajamas. <laughs> Sleepwalking. No wonder I've been so tired in the mornings when I go to work. Work? That's it. Maybe it's your job at the automobile factory. Oh, no. They just gave me a raise. And I'm working overtime 14 hours a day. 14 hours a day on the assembly line? What kind of a job is that? Oh, it's very interesting. I am in glove compartments. <laughs> you know, Glove compartment? Uh, what do you do? Well, at 8 o'clock sharp, the whistle blows. <laughs> A car comes by, I open the door, I jump in the car, I put in the lock, I tighten the screw, I press the button, the light comes on, I jump out the car, I close the door, and guess what I do next? What? Another car comes by. <laughs> I open the door, I jump in the car, I put in the clock, I try Jerry, to... Jerry, basta, basta, stop! I'm getting car sick. <laughs> Jerry! Jerry, you do that 14 hours straight? Oh, no, Tia Sofia. Every two hours, I get a 10-minute coffee break. <laughs> well, thank heavens you get a break. Oh, yes. Then I go to the coffee machine. I put in a dime, I push the button, the cup comes down, the coffee comes Jerry, down. Jerry, please! <laughs>
You need a coffee break from your coffee break. <laughs> What you need is a complete rest. You're going to stay here with us this weekend, and you'll stay in the boys' apartment. Oh, muchas gracias, tia Sofia. But I really don't want to put you to any trouble. It's no trouble, Jerry. I am not going to have my sister's son walking around at night, exposing himself to the elements. <laughs> not to mention the neighbors. <laughs> I have to get to the jewelry store before it closes. <laughs> I start the car. Beep, beep. I hope I find an engagement ring in as we like. Hello, everybody at the jewelry store. I have to find a ring for my girlfriend, Ines. Oh, Jerry, you're up. I hope that it fits. What's going on? I think Jerry is sleepwalking. Jerry, are oh, you... Don't wake him up. When you sleepwalk, you act out your subconscious anxieties. Maybe we can find out what's been bothering him. I have to check your line. I have to check your line. Well, I know what that is. He's acting out his job on the assembly line. I open the box. I close the box. I open the box. Close the box. And that must be his glove compartment that he's working in. Mama, those are donuts. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Blowing donuts in the air? What could that mean? I don't know, but I'm glad he didn't find the tapioca pudding. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> hey, what's everybody doing up so late? We're watching Jerry sleep. <laughs> hey, great. And after this, we can go watch Papa sleep. It'll be a double feature. <laughs> what's going on? Shh, Jerry is sleepwalking. Whatever happened to sleep sleeping? I have something I want to give you. I hope you like it. Oh. Giving that donor to the pillow. It cost me two weeks' pay. A pillow better like it. That's a $400 donut. <laughs> that doesn't happen on an assembly line. It doesn't make sense. Now, if you do not want it, I will understand because we really never discussed it. Now, that makes sense. He never talked to the pill about the donut. <laughs> so, since you do not want it, I will keep it myself. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> what are you all doing in my apartment? Jerry. This is not your apartment. This is our house. And you've been sleepwalking. I was. <laughs> then why am I eating this ring? I mean, donut. Jerry, now, now I'm beginning to understand. It is a ring. Go on, Jerry. Well, I wanted to give it to Ines. That's it. Now I understand. You wanted to give Ines an engagement donut. A ring. I did? Then why don't I do it? Because subconsciously you're afraid she'll turn you down. That's why you've been sleepwalking. Oh, I see. <laughs> so go out, buy her a ring, give it to her, and we'll all get some sleep. Hey, maybe you're right. I am going to give Ines a ring. And if she accepts it, I will be cured. I will not sleepwalk anymore. Good. And if she doesn't accept, I also will not sleepwalk anymore. Because you'll get over it. No. The minute she turns me down, I will kill myself. <laughs> Did my man Carlos at the pawn shop take good care of you, huh? Oh, yes. The minute I told him I was your cousin,
He put away the junk and took out the classy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Jerry. Show Victor the engagement ring you bought. Okay. Jerry. Victor, it may be small, but it's the thought that counts. But this ring is the eyesight that counts. <laughs> Come on, Connie, help me fix dinner. Ines will be here any minute. Hey, I see you had something special inscribed on there, huh? Well, uh, not exactly. That's another reason why your friend gave it to Jerry a little cheaper. To Bruno from the guys. <laughs> Bruno? An engagement ring? <laughs> Nowadays, there are all kinds of engagements. Nowadays, there are all kinds of guys. <laughs> well, Jerry, this is the big night, kid, huh? <laughs> yes, I know, but I'm so nervous, I feel like I have cocoons in my stomach. <laughs> no, 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 you mean butterflies. No, 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 cocoons. But there'll be butterflies by the time Ines gets here. <laughs> I don't think I can go through with it. Go through with what? Jerry, there's nothing to worry about, man. Relax, there's nothing to proposing. It's easy. I'll tell you what to say. You're gonna tell her how to propose? To a girl? <laughs> no, to a hot water heater. <laughs> of course, to a girl. Ah, uh, this I must hear. Advice to the love lawn from the Mexican marriage expert, Abigail Van Burrito. <laughs> Don't let me stop you. Go right ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Jerry, right off the bat, you gotta let her know who the boss is. All right. <laughs> Who's the boss? <laughs> you are, man. You say, look, Inez, we're getting engaged, see? Here's the ring, see? Take it. Don't give me none of your lips, see? <laughs> romantic, Victor. Very romantic. Well, if you're proposing to Telly Savalas... <laughs> then what would you say, Cousin Ernesto? I don't know. I would say something poetic, something sentimental. Oh, good. Teach me to say something sentimental. <laughs> Here's one that always works. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. <laughs> no, no, you don't have to count. Just say it. It's poetry. Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Okay, I'll say it. If it worked for those three people, maybe it'll work for me. <laughs> I just hope I can remember it all. How do I love thee? And don't give me no lips, see? <laughs> Uno, dos, tres. Let me count the ways. <laughs> Jerry, you better get ready. I am so nervous. Jerry, if you're afraid you don't know what to say to Ines, just say to her what your Uncle Luis said to me when he proposed. Oh, Sophia, don't go into that now. Go ahead, Mama. What did Papa say? Well, Connie, according to the custom, your father came to my father to ask for my hand. But he was very nervous because my father didn't approve of the marriage. Grandpa didn't like Papa? Well, not right away. But your father was very smart. He didn't propose right away. He said, the corn looks good, the barn looks good, the goat looks good. You know, Luis, for a minute there, I didn't think you wanted me. I know. You thought I was trying to get your goat. Come on, Mama, what happened then? Well, then, your father finally got up his courage, and he said to my father, <clears throat> Your daughter's winsome charms have not escaped my notice. And lo, these many months, I have held an ever-deepening affection for her in my heart. And so I come to you on this beautiful night and ask for her hand in matrimony. So even though Grandpa didn't like Papa, that lovely proposal won him over. Well, not exactly. The proposal was so long, my father fell asleep. <laughs> and while he was nodding like this, <laughs> Oh, he thought he was saying yes. So we ran off and got married. <laughs> oh, Tia Sofia, that was so beautiful. I sure wish I could say something like that. Then why don't you 
you say the same thing? No, I can't remember. How can I possibly say all that to a... Uh, to a... Uh, uh... Inez. <laughs> See? I can't even remember her name. I've got a great idea. Don't worry about a thing. Come with me, Jerry. Oh, Pepe, please carry this train to the living room. Hey, Papa, can I have some wine? Pepe, let me teach you about wine. Aging is very important. Oh, you mean you can't drink wine until it's the right age? You can't have wine until you're the right age. <laughs> This is no time to be doing your homework. Ines will be here any minute. She's not doing her homework. She's doing mine. Yeah, these cards will help Jerry remember what to say. I wrote down a few key phrases. He can't go around reading from cards. We're Mexicans, not gypsies. <laughs> People who make speeches do it all the time. It's called referring to notes. In my school, it's called cheating. <laughs> Jerry, whenever you get stuck without anything to say, just take a peek at one of these cards. And by the time you hit the sofa, you'll be engaged. <laughs> oh, that must be Ines. Ay, 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 ay. What's the matter, Jerry? A cocoon just broke. <laughs> Hello, Hi, Miss. I'm so glad you invited me. Hi, Jerry. How are you? <laughs> Is he awake? <laughs> oh, yes. Very much awake. Jerry. Ines. Jerry. <laughs> Sit down, Ines, please. Huh? <laughs> I really think you'll be much more comfortable on this side. <laughs> away from the car. <laughs> the car? Oh, yes. <laughs> Jerry is such a car. <laughs> Too bad he's not playing with a full deck. Uh, come on, everyone. Uh, we'll leave you two alone. Jerry has something he wants to say to you. Come on, everybody, yeah? <laughs> Are all of you leaving? <laughs> uh, Jerry, don't worry about your future. It's in the cards. <laughs> Jerry, this is all very confusing. If you have something to say to me, I wish you would just say it. I will, I will. But I don't know where to start. Oh. Why don't you start at the beginning? Okay. <laughs> Ines. Yes. <laughs> oh, good. I just found the beginning. <laughs> Ines, the corn looks good. The barn looks good. The goat looks good. What? I think I better find some more words. <laughs> Your shoes are untied. Oh. Jerry, I have buckles. <laughs> of course you have. Ines? Yes. <laughs> Your winsome charms have not escaped my notice. Oh. And for all these many months, I have held an ever-deepening affection for you in my, yes. in my, yes. in my, yes. in my sewing machine. In your sewing machine? In my heart. My heart. And so, on this beautiful night, Ines, I have to. I have to go to the sofa. Oh, I was hoping you'd come sit by me. <laughs> Ines, I want to. I want. Yes, Jerry. I want what you are sitting on. <laughs> the car. The car. <laughs> Ines, I want to ask you for your hand in matrimony. Jerry! <laughs> oh. What do you think? Oh, Jerry! <laughs> oh, there it is! Oh, Jerry, it's lovely! <laughs> 
saying you'll take it? No. You are not going to take it. No. Jerry, Jerry, listen. I'm very fond of you. It's just that I'm not ready to be engaged. Then this means this is the end for us. Why? Because of my upbringing. When a man feels about a woman the way I feel about you, there has to be an engagement ring first before the man can do anything about his feelings. <laughs> Sherry, that's beautiful. Muchas gracias. And I didn't even read it off a card. <laughs> oh, but what does it matter? When you said no, that meant the end. No, it didn't. Jerry, listen, when a woman like me feels about a man the way I feel about you, before she can accept an engagement ring, she's got to be absolutely certain that those two people are right for each other. Jerry, for me, my no means the beginning, not the end. So what do I do with the ring? Should I give it back to Bruno and the guys? <laughs> uh, uh, hold on to it. Because I have a feeling that, that your feelings and my feelings are going to do a lot of feeling. <laughs> Oh, Jerry. <laughs> oh. oh, dinner is ready. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> I guess everything is all right then, huh? Yes. She said no. <laughs> no? Does that mean you're going to break up? No. This is the beginning. That's right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How did it go? Are they engaged? No. She turned him down. Of course she turned him down. He must have used your approach. Take the ring and don't give me no lip, see? <laughs> and, uh, he probably blew it with, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. He didn't say either one of those things. Well, what did he say? He said, the corn looks good. <laughs> the barn looks good. The goat looks good. Well, no wonder she turned him down. Who's gonna marry a guy that says junk like that, huh? You got me. I certainly did. <laughs>